Hey, what's going on guys? We'll be doing a shave today with Shannon's soaps. Uh, this one in particular is Valley Parkway. Um, for the lathering video, I actually did, where's it at? I actually did the lathering tests with uh, Woodlands. You can tell that this is used as opposed to what I'll show you here in the other. This is how it comes um, unused from Shannon Soaps. So unused here and used here. I'm not sure what those mean at the bottom, but that's whatever they're, batch numbers or something. But um, so yeah, it just looks like any other uh, tallow-based soap. Most tallow-based soaps look like this. And I guess they're they're hot pour, I, I don't know. But anyways, I've, I've done some extensive testing with, uh, with the Woodlands. Um, same base, they're the same exact base, just different scents. Uh, this will be in a following shave at some point. Just kind of going over the scent profile on this, but uh, we're going with, like I said, Valley Parkway for the shave today. Okay, so I'm going to be using my 30 millimeter Maggard brush, synthetic. I'm going to put this in the water. So initially, I actually ordered um, Valley, uh, I ordered the Woodlands, and with Woodlands, I ordered the after, I wanted the aftershave for, for the wooden. I wanted, I wanted to buy the, uh, the set. And Magger did not have the Woodlands aftershave available. So, but they did have Valley Parkway. And this is, this is a story that's leading somewhere. Um, so I went ahead and purchased, I was like, all right, well, I'll just get, because I, I liked the scent profile of both of them. So I went ahead and purchased the Woodland Soap and the Valley Parkway aftershave. Well, when it came in, I also purchased the History 101 um, aftershave and soap as well from Summer Break Soaps. But when it came in, uh, the package, I had Valley Parkway's soap, uh, Woodland soap, and then Summer Break, both aftershave and soap. And I'm like, what the heck? I'm pretty sure I ordered, and I looked at the packing slip, and I did. I ordered um, Valley Parkway. I ordered their aftershave. I did not order their soap, but they sent me a soap. Um, contacted Maggards immediately and let them know what was up and they said hey not a problem um, we will send we will send the, uh, the aftershave out today you keep the soap so they're like, right, cool so that's how I have two shin and soap works and you can see it's kind of stringy just I mean it's it's a it's a good tallow based soap Shannon soaps or definitely a great, good, very good, whatever talent, whatever adjective you want to use. It. Very good soap. So you, you can tell right there. Look how stringy it is, and that's very reminiscent. Reminiscent of um, I don't get that so much with Ariana and Evans, but with Declaration Grooming's base, I get I get this stringiness. All right, this is uh. It likes water, but you have to add water slowly. If you watched my lather review, you'll know that um, it could take it could take quite a bit of water. You just have to work it in slow. You can't you can't front load it like some soaps. You have to kind of work it in. And to me, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. So let's kind of go over the scent profiles. So. For Valley Parkway, like I said, it's a tallow-based soap. Uh, the description is a drive through the valley. Um, there's woody, floral, and grassy green notes in here. And then it's also rosewood, lavender, and vetiver. And I believe they're essential oils. Scent strength on this for me. Look at that. Um, scent strength on this for me is about a 4.5 maxing out at a five once lathered on the face um you know i love I, I really do like this scent i would venture to say i love this scent i just wish it was stronger you have to kind of like woody notes it's it's a very well blended scent that's for sure but It's very difficult to pick out one specific scent. I do get a little bit of cedar. Mostly everything else is, is very well blended and um, this retainable. I, I don't know what I'm smelling. Other than a really good scent. So, 
really like the scent. It's it's for me in my nose. I mean, this is all subjective, but for me, this is a bit of an intoxicating scent. It's it's very nice. Um, I wouldn't say it's cologne. I I wouldn't say you know it's a cologne type scent, but it's it's just I don't know. It smells great. All right, so we could shave. With that, I'm going to add a little bit of water because I know it could take it. I just keep getting stuff all over my shirt, but it's okay. I'm just dipping the tips and uh, adding the water in. Do that to the other side as well. Like I said, this base is great. Add water slowly and it will treat you well. As, it will treat you very well. I wanted to say you fell as well, but it didn't come out that way. <laughs> so you can see just the, the sheen on this. Let me again turn on this little secondary light that I have. You can see the sheen on the soap. No big bubbles. Very, very nice lather. Okay. So this is good for the straight razor shave. Let's go with this. That's what we have in the brush. Let me try to get off the majority of this if I can. If I can't, whatever. All right, let's see. So since I won't have, I actually contacted Magherbs today to ask where the aftershave was because they, they said it was coming. They just didn't give me a tracking or anything like they did whenever I ordered the soap itself um, or whenever I placed my first order. They gave me a tracking number as to where they didn't this time. So I just kind of messaged them asking, you know, if they could give me a tracking and, you know, let me know where it's at. But I'm not going to wait to use the soap. I'm going to go ahead and go, um, I'm going to go ahead and use it. The gold dollar 66. This is actually one of the five that I purchased on eBay. And um, I actually honed this yesterday. So this will be the first shave with it. Honed it, dropped it. It's my edge on it. I'm doing something, this is a bit of a different edge. This isn't my typical edge. I just wanted to test. And sometimes it's fun to do that, just to test, uh, test edges. soap base a lot of residual slickness it, it just works oh pricing uh, this soap the soap themselves and I believe the aftershave as well um, are $12 soaps and aftershave are $12 I could be wrong on the aftershave the soap is definitely $12 which comes out with a four ounce tub to three dollars per ounce that's that's a great great value um, for this soap Like I said, with summer break soaps, I feel like I feel like summer break soaps were a bit a bit too expensive for what they are. That doesn't mean that they're not good soaps. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I feel like if they were in the same price range as Shannon soaps, I think that's that's their I think that that should be their market. Oh, 
Yeah. This edge is nice as well. Oh, I didn't show you the aftershave. So like I said, I'm not gonna have the aftershave like I wanted from Shannon Soaps for the shave. So I'll show you uh, as soon as I'm done with this pass what I'm gonna use. This actually just came in as well <laughs> from Amazon. Uh, and this is supposed to be some really, really good skin food. And I'm not sure if, um, I know a lot of guys that watch at my channel in particular are newer guys. I mean, I have some, you know, I have Chris Bailey from IMCDB and Tim from Tim Shaves that watch. And a couple other guys that have been, um, you know, wet shaving for quite some time. Uh, but I would venture to say the majority of, of you are probably newer to wet shaving as, as I was just a couple of months ago. But GF, uh, GOF Trumpers, their, their skin food is supposed to be some of the best. Um, this is West Indian Extract of Limes right there. I don't, know, I don't know if this camera really focuses in whenever, I don't know. But that's what it is, GOF Trumpers 19, 1875. Perfumer, uh, West Indian extract of limes, skin food. This smells just like limes. <laughs> Identically to limes. All right. So let's go ahead and throw the glasses back on so I can actually see what I'm doing. Although I don't think I did too bad on that pass without glasses. I may have cut myself somewhere that I didn't see because I didn't have my glasses. Still, the sheen. I don't know if the camera does it justice. I really don't. Um, I don't think it does. I don't think the camera does the sheen justice on many of my soaps. All right, let's go with that. Paul sent me some pictures of uh, his son shaving with him. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, his little boy was using his uh, Black Widow shavette. So, I told him, yep. Get little man started early because. Especially straight razor shaving, you know? And if he doesn't want a straight razor shave, that's fine too. Um, but definitely DE, you know, don't buy cartridges, come on. Well. Go 
just he'll decide what he likes when he's older. But cartridges won't even be a uh, an option in my household. My little dudes here. <laughs> he's gonna use everything I have. And if he doesn't want to, he'll buy his own. Yeah, but that's really cool, Paul, having your son shave with you. I mean, you know what I mean. Practice shave, whatever. <sighs> this blade's not, it's not tuggy, but I feel like, so what I did was, I used my, Ar my Arkansas um, nat natural stone. My Arkansas black natural stone. And instead of um, just leaving it as is, which I've done that plenty of times, just use my Arkansas stone edge. Um, I went ahead with some uh, 0 0.05 micron C carbon, I don't know, C CBN, I think is what it is carbon boron nitride just to kind of like refine it extra and it's cutting through no problem but I am feeling a little irritation so and it's definitely not because of the slickness of the soap it's, it's because the edges I think too too sharp you know that's a that's a big thing with with people that straight razor shave especially new guys you know they think they're coming over to straight razor shaving from DE and maybe they moved over to, D to DE because they were getting razor bumps or whatever else um, with their cartridges. And maybe DEs provide them some relief with the razor burn or ingrown hairs or whatever. And then they want to get into straight razor shaving. And then maybe they start straight razor shaving and the blades that they're getting from other people that hone maybe too sharp for their skin. There is such a thing. You could you could use a theoretically a a fifty thousand grit stone and hone a razor that slices through. I mean, you name it. But that doesn't mean that it's good for the skin, and that doesn't mean that it's not going to irritate the skin while it's cutting. Anyways, my point being. Um, this is probably a little too sharp. What I did to it's probably making it too refined of an edge. Because what the natural stone does is it actually has imperfections in the stone itself. As you can imagine, it's a natural stone. So if it has those imperfections, although they're very, very small and minute, It also kind of alleviates some of that sharpness feeling. Like if you've ever used a shavette and done a three pass shave with a shavette, you know that sharp, tingly, like burning sensation? That's irritation. And I'm getting that slightly with this. And that's just because it's, it's way too sharp. Looks like I cut myself there. Or maybe those are weepers. So yeah, there is a too sharp of a blade to use for shaving, that's for sure. Well, straight razor shaving. You know, I'm not sure if it matters with DEs because if you think about that, you have the guard. I mean, it's not just straight DE on your skin. You have the guard, so that helps.
It might be good that I have GOF Trumpers to use after the shave. Yeah, right there. I don't think I cut myself. I'm, there's, I'm, I'm not missing skin, but I definitely have oh, a crier there. He's just a weeping. I hear him. There's also a dog outside. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. What I just did gets it extremely close on the mustache area. I already had a previous bump there and it looks like I nicked myself a little there, but and that's, that's still happening down there. Just little weepers. Would I have gotten that with, with a natural finish on the stone? I mean, maybe, but I doubt it. Let me go up here. A little too sharp. But it's okay. We experiment with different edges. I mean, my face isn't cut up or anything. They're, they're literally just little weepers that in, you know, 30 minutes, you'll never know that they were there. But at the moment, they're just going to bleed. But like I said, we live and we learn. So I won't be doing that again with my edge. I won't be using the natural stone and then going to uh, the carbon, carbon bor, boron nitride, whatever it is, CBN. Yeah, I mean, like I said, a little bit of singing. See, I have bad shapes. <laughs> I tell you guys when I have bad shapes. The majority of them are great, but when I do have them, I'm not going to reshoot this. This is going up. I don't, you know, you, you get what you see. You see what you get. All right. Like I said, UF Trumpers. Tons of ingredients in here. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus or not on the ingredient list. And my fat fingers are also covering up the ingredient list, but you know. Whew. Yeah. Kind of gloopy. That's what you want with skin food. Mmm. Mm, that smell, that West Indies lime. I don't know that I've ever smelled the West Indies lime, but it definitely has a very strong lime smell, and I like citrus smells. Oh, yeah. Whew. That feels nice. <laughs> I don't know if they have menthol in this or not, but I'm getting a cooling sensation. So, it's a benefit. All right. Oh, that's it, guys. An okay shave. Uh, Shannon Soap Works, or Sh I keep wanting to say Shannon, Shannon Soap Works. It's actually Shannon Soaps Limited, I think. Is that what the LTD stands for? Limited there? Or there? There. Shannon Soaps Limited Valley Parkway. Um, Great soap, like I said, great towel based soap, no complaints whatsoever. Uh, again, the Maggard 30 millimeter synthetic and my GD 66 that uh, I made way too sharp, apparently. Look, look at all that. Again, they're just weepers. They, they'll, they'll heal like within the next 10 hours. So we're good. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next year.